So today is Tuesday, and one of the things that I like to do is something called Tipsy Tuesday. Um, some people call it Tuesday Tips, I think, but I like mine better, Tipsy Tuesday. So what I'm going to show you is a way that you can collaborate with others, even if they're not in the same room, in regards to writing code. This is an excellent tool um, to use if you're stuck on something and you need help from somebody else, that they can look at your code without having to look over your shoulder. And what it is, we are going to um, download uh, or install an extension. Extensions are kind of little the extras in a um, VS Code, and other text editors have the same thing. Sometimes they're called packages or something, but they're called extensions in VS Code. And the way you find that is you open up your um, VS Code um, software. And you, on the left-hand side, you should see, um, it looks like this little square right here. And if you hover over it, it says extensions. If you don't see that, you can also find it going to, I think it's view, yes, and then extensions. So um, what the tool, the extension that I'm talking about, there's several extensions, as you can see. But the extensions that I'm talking about for right now is called VS Live Share. <clears throat> so it's really easy to find. You just go up there and you start typing in what you're looking for. Um, and then you see VS Live Share. It's a real-time collaboration development um, uh it's a it's a way to collaborate with others like i said so i already i don't know why that's still saying installing i already have it installed but i'm not worried about that um i do want to go ahead and download the vs live share extension pack so as you can see i just click on it and it comes up with a little bit of information about the extension and this one is um, a pack, and it looks like the extension of pack includes everything you need to start collaborating, colla um, collaboratively editing and debugging in real time, including integrated audio and text chat. So this is not something I've tried before, but it sounds really interesting, so I'm going to go ahead and install it. I think this would be a big benefit um, teaching whenever a student is stuck on something. It's a way for me to look at what they're doing instead of looking over their shoulder. Um, so I'm going to download that or install that. And I don't think there's really anything else to do after it's done installing. And I'm not sure how long it's going to take to install. You'll notice um, because, I, I'm assuming it's because it's a pack. This one was already installing, um, the status of installing. audio. <clears throat> was one of the components of the pack and it looks like team chat was also a component for the pack so that's going to be really interesting and um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and resume whenever it's done installing okay I'm back um, I th it look took about I'm not sure about maybe 10 minutes to do the inst installation so, and you can tell it's done because um, all these say reload. This is the original one that I guess I thought I had downloaded. Um, this is the audio portion of it. This is the extension pack. And then this is for the team chat. And they all say reload. And I'm going to go ahead and click on here, reload to activate. And it's done. <clears throat> if I remember correctly, oh, there's Slack, there's a Slack extension. So the way I hide this, it's still installing. Okay. So I'm gonna put this on pause again until it's done installing. So it is now done installing. Okay, that. And I have this message VS Live Share updated. You can now share source controls. 
state, uh, communicate via PR-like code comments, and even collaborate with guests without requiring them to sign in. And then if you click on more info, um, I think it'll give you some more information on it. Yeah, open up a web page. Um, you can look at that late. You can look at that if you like. Kind of gives you a little bit of information. Looks like it goes to a GitHub page. Um, gives you some more information on it. But I'm just going to go back to this. So the way you would use this if you wanted to share with somebody else is on the lower left-hand corner, you'll see um, Live Share. You click on that. Um, I guess I need a file. Open up a file. Yeah, I need to find a file. So let's find a file. Um, that's not what I want. Okay, so I have a file here. So now it's activating the extensions. Where'd it go? Waiting. So it's currently in the auto connection mode that improves performance and collaborates on the same network. Accepting incoming secure connection when sharing. Your firewall will, okay, I remember this. Your firewall will now prompt you to give um, the access to the required ports, denying the access. Okay. You hit okay. You hit allow access. Okay. I think that's it. So it looks like we have an invitation link copy to a clipboard, send it to anyone you trust. You can now start to audio calls as part of your collaboration. I'm not going to do the audio calls. I'm assuming it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't, and I don't have anybody to call. Um, the chat feature. These are some features I hadn't played with yet, so just bear with me. It looks like it's pretty much a chat feature, which is nice. Um, so let's see. I think this is hike. No, that's not it. That might be it. Let me look at someone else. So this is what I was looking for. Live share. Um, you can invite participants. So um, the link is copied. And all you need to do is get that link to them. It can be on Discord. It can be on Slack. It can be an email. It could be whatever means you have. Um, you would email them that link. And they would just click on it, and it would, they would access it. Um, let's see. So that's pretty much how you do live share. If you're not certain about anything, and if you want to try it, uh, if you want to try it with me, I'd be more than happy to, you know, work with you on it. Um, just shoot me a message. So um, everybody have a fabulous evening. Bye-bye.